together. Lena, you could be a lot more comfortable. You could just you could just be so much more comfortable. If you if you let me help you. All right. You want that to be up on a little bit of a of an incline. All right. Is that better? It's going to have to do for now, but it's like leaning on your rib cage. It's probably not really comfortable, right? Um, that's all right. Yeah, all right. Good morning, Mike. Hi. Hi, Amy. Hello. 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 Mm. Your biological mother thinks because they sent you a thousand dollars at Christmas time in a check that you now must begin to answer her emails again. I don't know what she wants you to say. Uh, she just she wouldn't give a shit if you said eat dirt and vomit. This, but she, all she cares about is that you reply to her email, and if you do that. She'll, she'll tell people, oh, yes, we stay in touch by email the way everyone else does now. What can you do? It's the coronavirus. What can we do? You know what's going on with her. Right. It's time to take legal action if she doesn't listen to the, live, to the, uh, to the previous video they did over uh, at YouTube. Right. What do I do? How do you, we'll worry about that when she responds again. Because she will. She can't stop herself. She needs to tell her friends that she's writing to you and that you correspond. She doesn't give a damn about you, Lena. I know that. She just really needs, in her mind, it will make it not a sin. She's not lying to tell her friends that you stay in touch with her. Right. I always knew that's what she was doing. I knew it was not ever a genuine thing that she cares about me. Right. And if she sends you money, she says, oh, we exchange gifts, though. It's nice. Oh, she sent me a beautiful crucifix. She'll bring up something that you did months ago, you know, just to keep her friends thinking that her life is normal. That's what's going on with her. Uh, she doesn't care that you feel like fucking vomiting every time you get any kind of contact from her. Mm -hmm. And that you have repeatedly practically pleaded. John has ordered her to de decease and cyst. She doesn't take John seriously. She, par she can't believe what is happening with you and John. And that is just like... Her biggest nightmare has come true that Jesus Christ is her daughter's husband in reality and that her daughter is a mystic who, I mean, she, you know, after a lifetime of abusing you and being a lunatic, she finds that out. Plus she thinks that she's a holy roller, right? Yeah. So what's happened with your mother your biological mother, we should say, even though that was not your biological mother. Again, that was a divine, uh, that was a divine birth. It was the mm -hmm. John's was too. Right. We're putting it out there in black and white is what's going on. We're putting it out there in black and white, Madeline, because you'll watch this one too. You've already been reported to the authorities. They will be contacting you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be now bringing attention to on you and your husband that you really did not want to bring on you. Your husband is going to freak out. He's insane right now. He's gone insane. But if he knew that you were constantly trying to contact Lena, he would freak out. He would really be fucking freaked out. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to contact Lena. You keep doing it anyway. Uh, so you can tell your friends that you're in touch with your daughter. That's more important to you. That You're so crazy that that's more important to you than your, your husband's going to go absolutely nuts on you. You know that when he finds this out? Because he's finding it out right now. He's going to find it out this minute that you won't leave Lena alone. And he will say, why are you doing this, fucking Madeline? Why are you doing this? You're fucking crazy. 
leave her alone. She... This all had to happen for a reason, Lena. All right. I know you get sick talking to them. Or emailing them. You don't even talk to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why would you talk to people that tried to fucking murder you your whole life? And who are now just terrified of you. And so they don't know what else to do. They want your love. They never had love from anybody like the love they had from you. And now that it's gone, they know that it is hopeless. They have wasted their lives on hatred and greed. And now their daughter is the bride of Jesus Christ. And they are not in the equation. Going down. Down they go. Down they go. She must have thought, I don't care what she thought. What? I know that it was a new year and things were going to be different this year. No, that's not the way it works, Madeline. That's not the way it works. This is Archangel Christ Michael. And I am telling you that that is not how it works. And you are sending her this video too. And you are going to do it right now. Okay. You've had it, Horvats. And Lou is going to kill you, Madeline, when he figures out what you're doing. He's going to kill you.